Welcome to the CSI Kochi TV's 2016. I am glad to have with me Dr. Rajiv Sethi, sir. Sir is the senior consultant and interventional cardiologist for Aditya Birla Hospital, Pune. So welcome, sir, to the studio. Um, I shall begin with uh, the blood pressure management and uh, the way to monitor the blood pressure while the patient is on treatment. So, sir, I would like to know uh, how is your opinion regarding the blood pressure measure measurement, uh, office versus home measurement? First of all, thanks for having me here. And uh, you know, hypertension is a very high uh, risk factor for morbidity and mortality. And nowadays, we are seeing that younger people are coming with very high blood pressures at a younger age and they are also very difficult to control. And uh, office blood pressure plays a very important role in diagnosing hypertension because once the patient comes to the doctor, that is the first time he comes mm -hmm. to know that it is hypertensive. But we also are aware that uh, office uh, hypertension or office measurement of blood pressure has its own fallacies. Mm -hmm. There can be so many patients, you know, who have what we call as white coat hypertension. Mm -hmm. That is, they actually have blood pressure which is in the normal range, mm -hmm. but as soon as they visit a doctor or they visit a hospital, the blood pressure shoots up and in, then we fallaciously diagnose them as having blood pressure. So in this group of patients, either office blood, either home blood pressure monitoring or ambulatory blood pressure monitoring is a good modality to actually mm -hmm. diagnose hypertension. So home blood pressure monitoring, I think, plays a very important role mm -hmm. in ruling out patients with white coat hypertension. All right, sir. Also in certain instances of mast hypertension, mm -hmm. you know, some patients may have blood pressure which is actually uh, high and in the home environment, but once they come to the doctor, mm -hmm. their blood pressure is uh, in the normal range. Even these people have been found to have higher morbidity and mortality and target organ damage. Similarly, there are so many patients whom we label as resistant hypertension, mm -hmm. where we actually want to know whether they are compliant with drugs and whether there is an element of white coat hypertension which is added on to the resistant hypertension. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, home blood pressure monitoring will definitely play a good role in trying to rule out a white coat hypertension and mast hypertension and we will be able to properly label patients as resistant hypertension mm -hmm. and it can also play a very important role in managing therapy right because you know patients will know if mm -hmm. they take appropriate blood pressure at home mm -hmm. how their blood pressure behaves throughout the day so that they can adjust the dose mm -hmm. of medicines and they can adjust the timing of medications right sir